My friend Mark Oakham over at the Restoration Lighting Galleries, mm -hmm. you know, he reminds me that they take old things and they refurbish them and make them look brand new, lighting and different features and things like that. But he said, you got to come to this house in Avon. It's spectacular. They did custom lighting for this one woman and wow. her family and her husband. The house itself is stunning. I can't but wait to see it. The lighting that they put in there is over. It's just wild. And you're going to love it. Take a look. This is a, just an absolutely gorgeous home, and the pieces that you have put in are just going to accent everything that's beautiful about it. And this house has actually been done by Restoration Lighting Galleries twice now in the four years that it's been built. That's correct. We helped the first homeowner with some other lighting, and then the new homeowner decided to change everything with custom lights, made to order, cast crystal fixtures. When you take a look at the chandelier, Scott, it's unbelievable. It's an all cast Italian piece. This piece can come in a variety of sizes, from a very small 18 inch piece to something as large as you see now, about 48 inches in diameter. Now, did the homeowner have uh, uh, something in mind when she came to you for this, or did you recommend this? How does that work? Homeowner came to our showroom, saw the piece displayed, but really wanted to have the finish they wanted. When we said no problem, they said okay. Most people think that they have to get it the way they see it, but you know, at Restoration Lighting Gallery, we'll make it the way you want. Now, is this a new piece, Mark? Brand new. All the castings are from Italy, hand finished in the US, in a finish selected by the customer with hand cut crystals. This is a crystal you've not seen before. The large prisms are all French pendalogs hand cut. So it's really a different type of piece. It's a grand piece that you're not gonna see in an average home or even in an average store. It's just very different and always hand selected. And I'm looking at the medallion on top, uh, uh, you know, that's been adhered to the ceiling. Tell me about that, is that yours as well? That also came from us. The medallion just really accents the color of the fixture with the mirror on it. It just reflects the light back down into the room. So it's actually added light enhancement as well. And we also tied in both sconces with the same color and the crystal accent. Where do you get something like this? We work with different partners. Castings come from Italy. The crystals are all cut in Europe and it's all put together and finished for us. Okay, well when you walk into this house, you're gonna get that wow. Just wait till I show you the kitchen because it ties right through. Okay, because I'm excited to see that as well. Let's go. Wow, well, first of all, the kitchen is unbelievable. You don't want something too big or too small. So how do you make a decision like that? We came in with the customer in August and there was, this lighting was not what was in here. It was very, very basic hurricanes. And she wanted just something grand, something to make it pop, her words alone. And what we did is we decided to take the theme off of the foyer piece and carry it through the kitchen. So over the island you have, again, the same family of chandelier, but scaled down into a two-tier piece over the island. The matching piece over the sink is a single tier, which again carries that same design element right through. Now I would never think to put a chandelier in a kitchen. It works really well, especially if you have a big kitchen. Okay, and how do you know about the height and how far it should come down and how much light you're gonna get from it? Because a kitchen is very difficult to do. It is, and that's why you call the professionals at Restoration Lighting Gallery and Connecticut Lighting Centers, because anyone can hang a fixture, but to hang a fixture to make it look good and give you light, that's what you need the pros for. And as you can see, the design carries through the pass-through sconces and the sconces by the television set. And right on into over the, the uh, kitchen area as and well? Again, the same chandelier family, same casting family but a different scale so it gives the right presence and it keeps the flow going through this whole area. You would expect something like this in a grand house like this but it's not over the top as well. It all has to do with the finish. The finish you select is going to get set the tone. If it was high polished brass it would set one tone. Being in the bronzes it sets a whole other tone and I think it is very comfortable and warm with the leather furniture and the warm wood colors. Oh it's just gorgeous. So when people have an idea for their kitchen or their foyer I mean you know why not come to you guys? You're going to help them from soup to nuts. We're going to help them any way we can. Now, obviously, that's a high end. Right. I, 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 I think my whole house could fit in the foyer. I know, but you don't have to have that kind of wealth, you know, to enjoy uh, restoration lighting galleries. They do all price points. They help all, uh, you know, people like yeah, us. But they could really spruce up like your dining room, your oh, living gorgeous. room. Oh, gorgeous. Even one piece in your home can make it uh, all the difference. Exactly. So uh, it's really an unbelievable place. Check them out. They're right off of Brainerd Road in uh, downtown Hartford. Well, not downtown Hartford, but uh, they also have a location in Southington as well. All right, we're going to get fit. Want to try? I'm ready. Tyler English is here coming up on Better Connecticut. We're going to do a little <laughs> exercise and end the show. Stick with us. <laughs>